Ah, good, good dog. Hello and welcome to How to Train Your Puppy with me, your puppy trainer, Jamie. And the star of the show today, Colin. Now, Colin has been diagnosed by myself as being a very stupid dog. And this actually is quite common in dogs. You know, we took him to the vet and, and we explained the situation and, and the vet just, just told us to go away. But the point is, the tricks I'm gonna be teaching you today can be performed by even the most stupid of dogs. So if your dog is of average intelligence, you will have no problem at all learning these tricks. If you look at his, his head, he's got sort of 80% nose, 20% brain, which is way out of proportion for a normal dog. You're looking for a sort of good 50-50 split usually. Today, I'm gonna to teach you three tricks that your dog will absolutely love. Trick number one, play dead. An absolute classic of the dog world. You know, a great little party trick that always brings the house down at family gatherings. What I tend to do is leave Colin outside, usually for around two to three hours. You know, I, I regularly check up on him. And eventually, as you can see here, Colin looks as if he is dead. Trick number two, roll over. Again, a really good fun one to do with family and friends. Uh, it's slightly more advanced, so this trick may take a little bit more training. I've personally got to a stage with Colin where we are so close that we almost feel as if we are connected as one. Whatever I do, instinctively, he will copy. So teaching him a trick like roll over is very easy. We could not have cameras filming Colin 24 seven. So unfortunately, there is no footage of some of the tricks being performed. And finally, trick number three, my personal favorite, fetch. It's like I'm throwing something. Fetch. Uh, fetch. Now as dog owners, we all know and love fetch. But there's nothing worse than having your dog completely ignore you and making you look a right mug in public by not doing anything he's told, eating everything inside, and everyone in the lane slagging you off for being a terrible dog owner. It's awful. Awful. So that's why I recommend practicing fetch at home, in your garden before you go and play fetch in public. You want to make very strong eye contact with your dog so they know exactly what you're going to do. Look at that, look him right in the eye. Yep, sit, sit there, yep, come in. No. Very clearly show your dog the item. You will wave it around a bit and then fetch. throw it, followed by the very clear command, fetch. Good boy, Colin. Look at that, it's bro brought it straight back. Colin. 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 Well, there you have it. Three simple yet incredibly effective tricks that your dog can learn. And that'll prove all those who doubted you and thought you weren't a responsible dog owner wrong. Good lad. See ya. Bye. See ya. <laughs>